some bandits. Take a seat. Oh. No match for my spears. Up there. Great. And everybody knows about this little cave, huh? The harbor it's so low. Once the prophet was a man of vigor and strength, some harrowing experience has aged and diminished him, leaving him blind and almost feeble. corners check those corners Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried up husk like myself would hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. You picked this place because it smells? Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. A history lesson? Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Hmm. I'll play your game, old man. Let's see it. Enter my mind, Vestige. And walk with me through the shadows of past events. Here we go. Doom gloom, here we are again. Taken. I'm headed there. Follow me, Mister, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Moth Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. It was there I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their study. You the Scrolls allowed me to Elder glimpse Scrolls? the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. Yes, I've heard the Scrolls can have side effects. I'm not going to run up and click that. 
The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. What does this have to do with me? I only know that you are important, Vestridge. The scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. Who are the Five? The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh, the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, the son of Calobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovit and took the crown himself. Alas, Baron was not truly a dragonborn, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. Hmm. So what is the dragonborn, dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. So be it, old man. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Lyris? Next, Abnathar. A powerful sorcerer and grand chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Sahan, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius, who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manam Marco, the traitor, the king of the world, a powerful necromancer. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost amulet of kings. <coughs> Many Marco convinced Vera that the amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the dragon fires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Vera as one of the dragonborn. By tradition, only the dragonborn can lay claim to the ruby throne and rule as the one true emperor by divine right. Vera conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne. But unless he became Dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Tell me about the other companions. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Who would you like to know more about? Tell me about Lyris. You've already met Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north. And it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Baron chose her for her strength and her loyalty to be his personal bodyguard. Tell me about Sai. Sai Sahar came from a long line of Red Guard Swordmaster nobles. He was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Baron, the Elder Council. While Lyris was Baron's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting the entire group. And Abner? The Thans are one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Abner, their patriarch, is the leader of the Elder Council, a powerful battle mage and a shrewd politician. With his council, Baron was able to seize the Imperial throne years before. I've heard enough about these three. What about Man Marco? Man Marco, the traitor, the great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. 
It was he who convinced Baron to perform the ritual you are about to witness. What happened when they performed the ritual? Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. They're gone. Where did the scroll disappear to? There it is. The dragon fire brazier. Many mark. Certain this will work? It will work, my man. The amulet of kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place is in You have my word. It better work, Money Marco, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. <laughs> my lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your <laughs> old giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner. Begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Uh oh. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's oh my. Skies open. Yes, this clearly did not go the way they this planned. Very bad. Ah. This isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Then, Marco, what have you done? Gullible fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Moloch Bar, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh, forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! Hmm. Your lust for power is what brought you to that fate. The ritual tore the veil between Nair and Oblivion. Marco to be stealing souls his master needed to power the dark anchors and initiate the taming them. Akatosh gave Alessia the amulet of kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nair. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamria will be protected from the Daedra. What happened next? Manamarco tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. What happened to the other companions? Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahar took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Manamarco and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. What about Abnur and Manamarco? Thaun remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Trivia rules as Emperor's Regent. But the true power remains in the hands of Manamarco and his worm cult. Uh, so how did you end up in Cold Harbor? When I discovered the truth about the five companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamaka got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. They saw you as a threat. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamaka feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Bar the opportunity he desired. 
bowels, dark angers pierce the tall thing that seems to draw near into the depths of conflict. These terrible engines of destruction appear in the walls throughout Tamriel. Terrible contraption indeed. If the Lord of Brutality and Domination is successful, he will merge our world and his own in a terrible plain hell. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Bar and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. Now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? Yes. Yes, I'm ready to go back. As you say. And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. You've given me much to think about. And there is so much to do. But know this, you will not walk this path alone. Hmm. So what's our next move then? We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris? Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. Huh. What should I do in the meantime? Minamako's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents wherever they can be found and expose their lies. I'll do what I can. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. Much to think about indeed.
Don't know why I thought that was a ruined stone. Seek me by the cliffs outside Daggerfall. Oh, that was quick. Well, I guess I will go right back then. <laughs> Back into the cave we go. You summoned me, old man. Somehow, there are two of you, old man. Your power grows. Leave me now. I must rest and meditate. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Leave me now. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. It is good to see you again. <laughs> but I do see you in my own way. You're a wound in time. A tear in reality that shouldn't exist. And cannot long endure. Why do you speak in such riddles, Prophet? Fate speaks in riddles. Your fate was written in the scrolls long ago. It is entwined with the fate of the five companions. I have finally located Lyris Titanborn in Cold Harbor. Is she safe? She works a terrible forge under the lash of the great deceiver, Molog Bar. Her soul is in great danger. You must go to her. I can manifest a gate to that dark realm, but you must go quickly. Open the gate. Tread I will risk you. in Molog Bar's realm. You are important. The scrolls have so named you. What happened to Lyris after we escaped Cold Harbor? After Lyris took my place in the Wailing Prison so that we might escape, the Daedra moved her to the Foundry of Woe. It is a place of torment and despair. She toils endlessly making weapons for the enemy. How do you know this? The God of Schemes invaded my mind many times during my imprisonment. It was a tortuous experience, but by forcing his way into my mind, he inadvertently opened his own thoughts to me thus created a chink in his own armor. What do you mean? We are connected, he and I. With concentration, I can see through his eyes. He feels my presence, and it fills him with rage. 
When you enter the foundry to recover Lyris, I can keep his attention focused on me. He will be blind to you for a time. Isn't that dangerous? It will be a far greater danger for you to enter Cold Harbor without this distraction. It is Molog Baal's realm, and his power there is great. I will endeavor to distract him in this manner whenever you travel there. I will do as you say.